Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to be going over how we can serve static files using the HTTP and file system module. So to get started, I'm just going to hit Control B to bring up the package explorer and you can see that we have a static folder and we have three static files. Now these files is a JSON file, an image, a PNG file, and an index.html file. So what I want to do is make a request to the server and have the server send these files back to me. So I'm just going to hit control B to get rid of that. And the first thing we're going to do is actually require the modules. So I'm just going to say const HTTP equal require HTTP. And then our second module is going to be the file system module. So I'm just going to say require FS. Now the first step to do this is to actually create the server. So I'm just going to say HTTP dot create server. And this is going to take a callback and we're going to have a request object and a response object. Now I'm going to call a method on that server object. So I'm just going to say dot listen and we're going to listen on port 3000. Now let's say that I want to read in a HTML file, for instance. So let's go up here. And what I can do is create a readable stream. So I'm just going to say const read stream. It's going to be equal to fs dot create read stream. And then within here, we're going to pass in the path. So I'm going to say dot forward slash because it's going to be relative to app.js. Now I need to go inside the static folder. And then the name of the file that I want to read in is called index.html. Now what I want to do is actually write a header for my response. Now what a header is responsible for is to let the client know what kind of data that I am expecting. So I'm just going to say res dot right head. And then within here, we're going to pass in the HTTP status code. So I'm going to pass in 200. Now 200 means that everything went okay with your request. And then the second argument is going to be what the content type is. So I'm just going to hit content type. And then we're going to pass in text slash HTML. All right, so now that we've written our header, I'm just going to take you guys to Google Chrome real quick just to look up the status codes. Now you can see that HTTP 200 means that the request has been successfully completed. So whatever the user requested from the server, that means everything went fine, as I said. And there's a bunch of HTTP status codes. So let's look at another one. So another common one is 404. So you're going on a website and you accidentally mistype the URL and they give you a not found error. So that would be a 404 error. Now let's go back to our Visual Studio code and let's complete this. So I'm just going to go down here and within here, I'm just going to pipe the read stream into where I want to send it. So I'm just going to say read stream dot pipe. And where do I want to send this file? I want to send it to the user. So I'm going to pass in res. Now res, the response object, is also a writable stream. So I'm piping it to the response object. So now I'm just going to save this. Let's go back to Chrome. I'm going to go here to Google. And I'm going to type localhost 3000. And it should probably be, be noted that you should start up your node applications. I'm just going to type node app. Now let's go back to Google Chrome, hit refresh. And you can see that our HTML file has been successfully sent. So let's actually try to send the other static files. And this is pretty much straightforward. So all we have is if I hit control B is in image and a JSON file. So I'm just going to hit control B again. Now all we need to do is obviously change 
the file that we're reading in. So instead of index.html, let's do example.json. Now the content type is obviously not a text slash HTML file. So we're going to have to pass in application slash JSON. And now if I was to save this, hit control C. So we're going to restart the server. I'm just going to clear out the terminal node app. Now let's hit refresh. And you can see that our JSON file gets loaded and sent to the client. Now let's load up that image. So now the same exact thing. I'm just going to hit control B because I forgot what I named the image. I named it example.png. So I'm just going to change this to PNG. And instead of application.json, we're just going to remove this. And we're just going to go here and type image slash PNG. So now if I was to save this, now we got to restart the server. Control C to cancel that out. Node app. Now if I go to Chrome, hit refresh. You can see that my image has been loaded. So that's basically the ins and outs of how you would serve a static file using the HTTP module as well as the file system module.